Keve. What do you see as the next channel rate beyond 100G? Do you see it as 400G or one terabit? And perhaps you could explain why. Well, uh, this year uh, in uh, March uh, at the OFC conference, we have seen a lot of results, a lot of press release going beyond 100G, uh, 400G and beyond. And uh, I think that uh, obviously uh, innovation is needed and uh, a lot of work uh, at the research uh, level is important. However, in terms of timing, I, I really believe that energy is going to stay for a while. Uh, the industry needs that. Uh, research is needed at 400G and beyond, but uh, also uh, work on energy uh, is still required because we didn't reach and far from it uh, the best point in terms of cost. So uh, uh, as an example on interface cards on the client side, there is still uh, a lot of gain to be done. So it's your opinion that there's a better approach in the short to mid term for improving the cost structure of long haul transmission infrastructure? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I think that uh, um, to develop uh, for energy and beyond will take years and years not only because of technology but also because of the work on, uh, at the standards level and, and we have seen uh, that this process was very efficient for energy and was very beneficial to the industry so we shouldn't skip that step and it's a step which will take a few years so i see the the real introduction of next rate around 2015 so uh, Let's, let's continue working in the meantime on reducing the cost of energy. That's what the customers want. You've spoken about the interface card technology found at the terminal equipment level. Are there any other components in the optical layer that can be improved? Absolutely. Uh, we have been as a company uh, focusing at first on the line system, uh, the, uh, the optical amplifiers and, and the line system in general. And I, I think that beyond reach and capacity, uh, we, we can still work on this aspect. Uh, the, the balance in terms of the cost to the customer between the technology in the terminals and the line system has drastically evolved in the past five years. At 10G, obviously, the cost of amplifiers was not negligible. Now, with the evolution of technology, we can carry 24 terabits of traffic on one fiber pair and one set of optical amplifiers. So we can uh, benefit from improvement in terms of optical bandwidth of reach in order to eliminate regeneration points, for example, by working on these line systems. There's a lot of evidence that system providers are focused wholly on the end cost of the system. But if the cost is always going to be reduced, where does the investment come from for improvements in bandwidth or other functionality of such a system? Well, good question. And, and, and I would say, I'm, uh, from that standpoint, I'm a bit surprised by what's happening at 400G and 1 terabit, because you need cycles and you need to uh, improve the technology and to, have, to go through the full cycle of this technology. And that's the reason I was talking about 10 years for, for energy. Uh, after skipping 40G, I think we need to settle. and. and uh, we need to have the, the whole chain work and benefit from this advance. Uh, even if the bandwidth is increasing incredibly fast, uh, if we look at the, the whole market, energy is good for at least five years. And so let's not jump to the gun. Let's have the return on the investment. And uh, let's take uh, one thing at a time. And uh, absolutely, uh, the old chain is not getting the return on the investment if we go to 4G next year.